Alright guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island. We're stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. Now, I know I always say that at the start of every single video, that we're always smiling. But the fact is in Jamaica, the economic standard is very difficult for many people. So maybe many persons don't have the opportunity to be smiling as I do. Um, this was supposed to be one of the very first videos I ever did because I kind of wanted to showcase to people how would it be possible for me to travel around the island to do all of these things and to survive of course i'm thinking about a part of my main audience which is just a typical average jamaican family or the typical average jamaican who has been working and surviving off of just minimum wage if you want to know minimum wage in jamaica is seven thousand dollars i believe the last time i checked and um yeah it was increased a couple months or something like that ago and everybody's like yeah thank you for the raise but in retrospect that's only about 50 us dollars for the entire week it's crazy so in today's video what i'm going to be pretty much doing it's a friday evening i'm going to be going to the atm to withdraw that yay seven thousand dollars and taking myself to the supermarket where I'll be spending $5,000 from that budget. <laughs> I think I could do it. I'm not so sure. What do you think? You think I'm going to be able to do it? feel like you can manage it. Uh, $5,000. Mm, $5, mm, I feel like you have a little bit over the top still, honestly. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully not, but <laughs> let's see. Yeah, you guys might be wondering why I'm not spending the entire $7,000 because the other $2,000 I'm just factoring for transportation and lunch which is crazy like two thousand dollars for the week to take yourself to work on lunch is that possible do you think it's possible two thousand for the week it depends well uh, in some most ca mm, some cases i would say <laughs> i don't know but, uh, uh, possible for transportation but for lunch for, no, there's no lunch there it's like it's, it's it's not possible but being fair to the government I'm only going to be spending 5000 to see if it can work. So right now we're heading to the ATM and I'll see you there. This is the, it sounds like enough money, but it really isn't, it really isn't. That's how we come right there, so. Collect some money from the people them overseas, your auntie and your uncle, all right? But yeah, um, if one of the supermarkets that I normally shop at, it's normally the high-low supermarket. I don't know if it's a really expensive supermarket or not. I think it's like in between. Like the name says, I low. <laughs> you know, it's like right in between. So that's where we're shopping today. I couldn't come up with a list. Like I'm not used to shopping with a list, but 
you know, we're going to wing it and see what we can get for five thousand dollars. Hopefully, we'll be done successful. Pretty much at the team team session right now where they don't know. Team sausage is like a thing, so I'm gonna pick up some team sausage, pick up some team muscle, some bully beef for every single bully beef. Me personally, having a job, buying bully beef is super expensive. I feel like actually I buy steak. I'll tell you why. For a meal, this 392 bucks. For one bullet, dude. that's like one meal. It's crazy, bro. I love it. picked up already are just kind of like breakfast kind of dinner stuff so for example the tin woods that's like quick breakfast especially for a meal if they can't cook at the cook but yeah um we know in jamaica we normally would resort to like tin food because it's quick and easy and it's normally under cheaper than so i'm trying to find more stuff for breakfast i'm gonna go over for tea if you don't know tea is a big thing videographer love tea is that tea one straight really quick Alright, to be honest, I'm going to try to pick up the cheapest brand, which is normally going to be the high-low brand because it's like in the US you have true val good value or whatever the case is where it's a store-bought brand, so it's going to be more affordable. Alright, so we got a box of ginger lemon, which is like for $218. Quick math, right now, one US dollar is about 137 so... This is about a dollar eighty cents around just with you. So to be very clear in this challenge right now, some things I already have at home. So I already have like you know Milo. I already have Milo at home, but I'm gonna pick up things things like condiments, which to be honest, even me like working class, like I I prefer to buy this because one of these is like. $138. Remember, I'm working with seven for five thousand dollars on food, which I'm really giving more than what some persons have to spend on food. Oh, that's that's so. For Betty, the most really sweet. You know, I want to actually jump on this and make it little for this. That light. Yeah. It have a wheelie. Like, anyway, we're doing um, Lasco. I think Lasco has always been like quite affordable. Let's tell you. 
Which one? That's your favorite? Or mouth. I think the creamy mouth is my favorite one. So I'll find that. Man, they don't need people in creamy mouth, you know. And they don't know money. <laughs> Right now we are the pastry aisle. We can't touch nothing around us. That's gonna mess up my budget. You guys might have been hearing that eh, sound in the background. That's actually them doing um, smoothies and shakes and carrot juices and stuff. I could not afford it for Just like one of those stuff is in between 500 the least, maximum 800 dollars just to have a shake up of the gym. Crazy. I'm right now. I'll go buy one snack. <laughs> like just, just one? Just one. <laughs> Things kind of tough, so I'll go pick up only one snack, which is this. Because, let's be real, when you're living on a budget, certain things are luxury. So, something like a snack, I would consider a luxury, so I'm going to do without it. I don't know what to do bread has. Let's get this bread. We got tea, we got bread. No way you don't have crackers in the house. For me, crackers was a very big thing going to high school, you know, when cornflakes was done, when I'm going to crush crackers, put in the sweet milk, I eat it, that was our cornflakes. For some strange reason, I haven't bought in a while, I guess because... It's the same stuff. So I'm going to pick up three packs of these. I think it's something that is always in most homes, no matter how bad things are, so pick up three of these and call the day. Oh, maybe I can get some jam for that, right? Mm. Yeah, I already have butter, so I'm saving some money not buying butter. I'm gonna pick up some jam because I think no matter how hard times it is, you should be able to live a little. I think jam is jamming. <laughs> Your budget can't manage. <laughs> Your face look like you're not sure. I'll stick with the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you know what, Atisha? Yeah, literally, I'm here at home. I'm on my last row, so they pick up some tissue. This is something that, for me, I realize. I normally, generally, you know, having disposable income, I normally picked up. Um, Thin tissue because it's cheaper, mm -hmm. but for some reason I pick up the more expensive one. But I realize that even though more expensive, it works out. So I'm gonna pick up some expensive one because you know, comfort. Comfort, all right. Yeah. All right. So the funny thing about it is that you guys in the US, coffee has to come a lot to like. Coffee when you wake up in the morning and you know, love Jamaican coffee. I know I can't afford any of this because I know how expensive it is. So we'll go give it some cup of shots so you can see for yourself. Let's take a look. A bag like this, 1400 already. That's a, a large percentage of the money. 1400? So, you guys who are drinking coffee overseas, gonna look like real talk. My store brand would be seven dollars. My concept normally is it's toilet paper. You know, throw it away, right? So why spend so much on it? But I picked up this one. It's a bit more, it's like a hundred and fifteen bucks, but I realized it was actually worth it. So normally I pick up six at a time because you don't want toilet paper to run up. Well, yeah, I'm doing a challenge and normally people on this budget I don't think they're gonna pick up. Alright, take three. Take three, take three, take three. Now, I 
want to know like this is no way it's knocking like any store brands or anything like that because I buy them and I respect them and everything but we're just looking at you know how the budget actually works and how people actually survive with minimum wage. Like really if I'm to be honest with you, when I come to the supermarket, meaning I come to pick up some for dinner or just to grab some nick snacks. I've never left out of here without spending $5,000. Mm -hmm. Never. Never. I've been blessed with a washing machine, but in true things are so expensive here, sometimes I use powder soap in the machine. In white, in crank, you shouldn't even use a powder soap in the washing machine, but yeah, we have to make things check. So, what I'm going to do, why I don't know. Because if I pick up, it, literally, if I pick up my normal brand, which is an affordable brand of soap mm -hmm. in the machine, I normally pick up Trill. Trill, oh. This is six hundred dollars already just to wash clothes. Yeah. Bear in mind, this would last you for more than a month. You know, if you use your wife, you last for more than a month. So it's not like an every week thing. Some items you don't buy every week, but some of you in the US are used to tight. Show you buy. You know me, I'll fit tight for a week or so. You know much of tight? No, no. For my budget. 3,381. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, let's just buy tight for dinner. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up some conventional stuff that everyone is used to. This is this. Mm -hmm. Um I don't think I have any at home. You know, I'm gonna have to pick them separate. Them in this thing. What's the price I'm not? I'm not even sure. I really don't know, but it can't be that expensive, can it? No. I normally use it to wash like my whites and maybe like shoes or anything like that. So, blue bomb on to the rescue. And of course, we need softener. Like, it don't matter. Like, softener. How can you use softener? Because it gives a nice smell and it feels uncomfortable. So, let's pick up some softener. Now, typically, if you're picking up softener, which is, this is my brand, I'm going to pick up. And this is my affordable brand. Um, Pronounce it. Huh? Pronounce it. <laughs> and so, yeah. And the long name, Missy, I'm going to say pronounce it. I, mm, yeah, it's just, I like it. <laughs> it's the look, it fresh. I'm going to pick up that one. Shop here, so I'm going to pick up these four socks. This is like $159, so this is already a dollar. A no name knockout. In the US, when I buy soft now, which is brand new. If I buy it from like the Chinese laundry match, I'm gonna be for a dollar. Brand name for a dollar. Not brand name. Mmm. <laughs> oh, almost like that. I really need this for my host right right now. Because the challenge that I'm trying to do is to buy real life that I need. And which logical whether you don't have it or you don't have it. Garbage bags in this Jamaica have the law which I respect. No plastic bags, but how would I throw in the trash? Can I be honest? <laughs> Suppose it is your past, I'm gonna already. <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> no, we could, we could see. We could see. Tell, take off a garbage bag. But, uh, but I, I don't want to be a guilty conscience right now, but. Mm. I didn't even pick up meat. Exactly. And you don't have no vegetable on the cart, so. <sighs> He's a starch No, I have to pick up vegetables for So much for the garbage bag. Well, I normally pick up this one in the last a good while, because it's 30 bucks in here. So. How much for it? How much for it? 500. Ooh! 500. Ooh! And you want meat? Ouch. You gotta decide, Steven. We need the bag. Now, literally at home I need the bag. I don't have no. You don't have no bags. Okay. So it, it's a, Let's take this risk. This if we if you keep 
now I'm going to my box of the garbage can do the most. Alright. The meat aisle. And we know. Alright, meat aisle. Alright. Meat aisle, some veg. I'm going to see how much we left. Well. And I'm back. Dark with my dogs. What? Get going. Get going. Dog, what? You better give them the leftovers. What leftovers? <laughs> The bone for the meat. I know you personally like chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. I know you personally like chocolate milk, but guess what? Look at this magic trick. That's messed up. For me, to be quite honest, it might seem like a funny situation, but it's not funny at all because you're doing YouTube, like I spend a lot of money on my trips and doing stuff like that. Of course, it pays off, you know, at the end of the month and YouTube. Them thing and working as well, it does make sense right now. Literally, like in my Jamaican account, I literally have about four grand left. So, if this past the nine grand, left, the five and the four Jamaican gems, dog, them are so far. Like, yeah. they just like I forgot to leave your one in that store. I forgot to put back, I forgot to put back. It's going to get some meat, so yeah. Yo, the meat I'll cool like ice. <laughs> yeah. So in the meat I'll um generally speaking it's better to buy the chicken as a whole. We're gonna save some amount of import because we can't really afford that right now. We're gonna buy the parts. Um just to get a little bit of meat in my diet at least, I'm picking up this, and this is for $278 This can't last me for the week, this is impossible This is two dinners like Maybe two Maybe two dinners, but to try to make the challenge or to kind of show what I'm going have to do it I don't want it to look so bad like animals I feel like that, that, that week yeah, I got to eat more vegetables than meat No, the boy made that Can I pick up at least fish? Make us see the prices. What the fuck? Let me show them the chicken food. This is funny, you know, kind of. I US, personally eat chicken food. In the US, chicken feeds are probably not even sold. It's For real? Yeah, there's probably some because they don't like this stuff. So, probably the Asian markets, Asians who use this because they have dishes that do this, like those Caribbean people. Mm -hmm. But if this. This is what you have as your refuse in the US, you know? And it costs as much as this. <laughs> Damn. How much meat is on this? I don't know. I don't like chicken food, so I'm going to buy a suit. You don't like it because there's no meat on it? Yeah, I'm going to buy a suit. Let's check out the fish. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Them sell one. Right? I have nothing left, but the reason I'm picking up fish is because, logically speaking, in a balanced diet, because let's be frank, for a country to actually survive, people need to be healthy, strong and able body to actually work right fish has uh, the whole um, omega 3s and all those type of vitamins that human beings need for memory and stuff like that so i'm going to pick up the fish regardless so, dollars for security card come to it. I was supposed to have a record but we do this for you guys to show you what the economy is like here on top of this so let's get the cash here real quick. I 
Terminator? Huh? Is it? Or... Pass this every day. Over foot. Over turn back. Over turn back. 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 Turn I don't know. Shit. Alright, so clearly. Yeah, we got the chocolate milks. Um, we did end up buying all the stuff because, in truth and in real life, I need those stuff. So I bought everything. Came up to over $7,000. Didn't buy vegetables, didn't buy fruits, didn't buy a lot of stuff that. You would need for a household and you realize how, how tough that is and a lot of us here we go to those struggles you know not being able to afford basic stuff because of minimum wage so it's crazy um but what i'd like for you guys to do is to help me to figure out how could i do this challenge again or do this video again and actually buy more stuff with five thousand dollars drop your comments down below let me know what are your recommendations what are your hits your tips and like what did you used to do when you were here or what do you do as you're still here you know to live on a budget let me know drop the comments remember these three things love nature adaptation and always remember keep the link